The OPZ app from Teenage Engineering has a huge new update that makes the relatively unpopular photomatic feature much more useful and relevant due to the power of video integration and sequencing. If you're using the OPZ synth to just make music, let me give you a quick breakdown of the full spectrum of its visual capabilities just to put this update into perspective. Before I give the detailed walkthrough on how to build visual sets quickly and easily, so the OPZ launched with two core visual tools that were historically miles apart, Photomatic and Video Packs. I know there are also DMX for light control, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. Video Packs are the super exciting and highly interactive 3D environments built with the Unity engine that can be downloaded and run on your phone. If you just wanna use the stock packs included with the app, it's easy to see the fun power of this feature and also purchase some more from creators in the community. The only problem is, with great power comes great responsibility. I work professionally as a designer specializing in video and interaction and actually spent a couple years working on mobile video games as my full-time job in Unity. Uh, here are some samples of things I've made. But although it's extremely fun and satisfying when it works, it can be intensely time consuming and frustrating when it's 3 a.m. and you're trying to work out how to fix your console errors. The absolute last thing I wanted to do after a full day at work was to hop back into Unity and spend hours setting up nodes and packaging files. I know I don't sound entirely encouraging, but it is absolutely possible to learn how to set up video packs if you really want to. And it's important for me that people understand that. Video Lab creators and some others have put out uh, material on YouTube that I will link to if you want to walk through the process as a beginner. But uh, everything has an opportunity cost. For me personally, every minute I would spend building video packs in Unity, I knew is time that I would not spend doing other activities I personally find more inspiring, like working on compositions and performance live jams, creating tutorials or building free sample packs. I release those projects in the form of weekly videos on this channel in the worst segue ever. So if you are actually interested in those kind of things that I do put my time towards, um, please consider subscribing. Anyway, you would expect that I'd be salivating over video packs, but honestly, I naively had my eyes on Photomatic. Although Photomatic is incredibly easy to operate and get running, it was disappointing to say the least. You could sequence some images uh, in time to the music with some rudimentary transformations, but it wasn't anything to write home about. What was clearly missing was something in between that gigantic gap, a visual tool that was accessible enough to operate quickly, but packed enough punch to produce something that was actually interesting and had a lot going on. That was until now, as Photomatic has just added the feature for video and GIF support and I will give you a run through from start to finish on how it works and how to use it. With the OPZ now connected to our mobile device, we can go through the app menu and head over to Photomatic. If these bottom or side menu options look different on your device, just make sure you've updated to the latest version before you get started on this. I'm gonna hit the track button and make sure that I am on the video track, kind of like an instrument. And also on the screen down the bottom, I'm gonna select which roll. I would think of the camera rolls in the same way that you would have different kits on a sample pack. You can have a set number of packs, each with a set number of samples. I haven't uh, memorized them actually, so I'm just gonna put them on the screen here. Here is one that I've loaded in myself that I've been working with. Let's go back for a second to the camera rolls and let's pick a new one. I'll show you how we're gonna make one from scratch. So now I've got slot empty, but if we add this real button, get importing photo, so I've got a bunch of weird crystal microscopic analysis things that I've downloaded off YouTube, and I'm gonna start to put them into the different slots. 
So I've got it currently in slot one, but in slot two, it's empty. Go through our files. And I just repeat this. It's a pretty simple process actually. So now what we're gonna do is gonna go through some of these and see if we want to change them. So this one, for example, has a bit of a slow start. Have uh, menus with a lot of options for how to edit these. One in particular that I'm just gonna point out here is I usually have on loop video, play mode normal, but I might change the start position here so that it's starting a bit later. I might change the speed too, so that it's a bit more dynamic. And you see now I've just hopped over to the next one. Uh, that has changed back to the default. So you can set them on individual roll items. So you can do the same and find the settings that uh, really interest you on each individual item, whether you want to invert the colors, change uh, these different items on the color menu, you want to add some kind of movement in terms of zoom, scroll, you can also add different types of masking. But I like to keep it pretty basic on the core, not do anything too crazy. And then I more like to play it in and record the sequencing first as I would on an instrument. So I hold record and I'm gonna go. So now we have some dynamic visuals going. So the next stage as I tap the screen is identifying what we can do live. Part of the reason that I didn't want to do too much for the colors or the zoom and these types of effects is I prefer to sequence these in live kind of like you would with an LFO or a filter. So the first one we have is hue, saturation, brightness, and contrast. I think all of them speak for themselves essentially in terms of what they do. We have the zoom settings, uh, which also has some transitionary crossfading options and some doubling for a bit of psychedelic treatment. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit play and you can actually record these in live as we go.
Now that was really quick and already we've got a tempo synced uh, kind of psychedelic thing happening here. But uh, I would just encourage you to explore it more. There's a few bits and pieces that I haven't got into. Um, for example, the uh, GIF importing is quite buggy. The punch-in effects as well are not working. Uh, I'm using a Pixel 2 XL. I don't know if that's something that they're going to iron out over time. But just really use the sequencing for its maximum potential and try to capitalize on any ideas you have. I think that um, we're going to see more potential for this tool as time goes on. Uh, and maybe I will create some simple video packs for free. They're not as advanced as the Uni Unity video packs, but it is much faster, in my opinion, if you have uh, some skill with editing software, audio or video, to put together a few little video snippets. If there have been major updates or uh, there's information about the bugs, um, I will try to keep you updated, but let me know in the comments also what you think of the update and if you've discovered any nice ways of using it. Uh, I think it's also worth noting I'm just using a very simple AZ screen recorder app. It's a free tool uh, that lets me export this and I've synced it up with the video. So maybe you want to explore something similar. Maybe you have a different tool. That's totally up to you. I just made small edits to cut those clips in Adobe Premiere Pro because that's something that I'm using, but I've also made a lot of my videos when I didn't have the Adobe license handy for a few months in DaVinci Resolve. So that's a free software I'd recommend if you want to explore video editing. But again, that's a whole other thing for another video. Let me know if that's something you're interested. In the meantime, um, enjoy and thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. Have a good one.